So what do you think uh, is the, like they call it lab of the future, but let's say, what do you think about pharma of the future or biotech of the future? Is... Sure. So I'll, I'll take my Tetra science hat off for a minute and I'll just use my, my mic cap <laughs> and I'll Look say that, that, yeah, lab of the future is, is somewhat of a, of an overused term, being honest. Um, lots of people use it sort of to, uh, to put up on fronts of conferences, for example. And, and a lot of it is, well, we updated the thing we told you about two years ago by 10%. Um, I want to go much more aggressively and dramatically beyond that, if possible. Um, why don't we, when we walk into a lab right now, we should not theoretically recognize this lab from 10 years ago, if we're really getting to the lab of the future, right? Um, where are the sensors that are on a scientist to monitor performance and toxicity environment, you know, and temperature or, or even you know, performance against the task? Where is the video monitoring of reactions or the holographic modeling for what you're doing, you know, to show you the right way? Um, where are the very, very dramatically scaled down um, reactions, assays, cell lines, et cetera, so that instead of doing things in, you know, 96 well plates or, you know, large round bottom flasks, why are things all not done at the micro or nano scale, right? Mm -hmm. um, Echo dispensers exist, you know, 6144 plates exist, organoids exist. Um, how have they not already taken traction and, you know, some company started up where they, they completely exclude the old way and they say, we're only doing this new, you know, very, very small screening way. Um, I don't know why that doesn't yet exist. I, I think it's sort of moving and shuffling and certain people have certain pieces of it. But I mean, I can go much further, right? Voice control for all lab apparatus, um, understanding despite regional dialect or accent or whatnot, um, scientific information commented to a computer out loud, um, immediate transcribing of reaction data continuously to perhaps a cloud, <laughs> um, you know, pre-processing of a machine learning model so that you can actually say, well, instead of just trying everything, let's try the things that the machine has tried to narrow us down to. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's so much that could be done. Um, virtual lab twins for animals. I, I know Pistoia and Allotrope are getting at that, these digital twin concepts. Um, and, and again, standardization across the industry. I, I know that lots of industries, um, uh, industrial automation has been standardized for 20, 25 years. Um, how pharma and biotech has not yet gotten there in certain ways is, is beyond me. They have some, right? There are, there are some standardized grips and standardized bases for plates, some standardized um, stopper uh, sizes for, for tops of flasks and tops of tubes, standardized connectors for um, robots. But yeah. generally, you know, standardized ways to consume data or build models, they're not really there.